demonstration of Dur Draw. Dur Draw is an ANSI art editor. It's also an ASCII art editor and a Unicode art editor for Unix-like systems such as Linux, Mac OS, uh, Windows subsystem for Linux, etc. Um, so Dur Draw is heavily inspired by classic ANSI editing software for MS-DOS and Windows. Programs like DDraw and AcidDraw are very popular in the 1990s for, uh, for making ASCII art and ANSI art. Uh, but DirDraw, it has a few sort of modern tricks up its sleeve. Uh, for one thing, you can see that it does animation. And, um, you know, you can edit a frame at a time. There's a kind of a little suite of animation tools here. Um, in fact, part of the whole idea behind DirDraw was to make uh, ANSI and ASCII art editing uh, a bit more like a traditional animation studio. Uh, so, to that end, it supports uh, frame-based animation, it updates the screen a frame at a time, and um, it gives the artist fine control over the timing of the, of the screen updates. And that's kind of a big deal, uh, because traditional ANSI animation would rely on the baud rate of uh, the terminal to determine how fast the playback was. And uh, that was a problem, you know, as computers and terminals became faster. So, uh, so DirDraw lets you control the speed, you know, you can slow it down, you can speed it up. And, um, yeah, so that's one of the big features of DirDraw. Uh, another big thing is that it supports Unicode, uh, Unicode characters. So these blocks, they are not actually traditional like MS-DOS, IBM PC style uh, blocks, they're actually Unicode characters. Uh, so that's great. That means that we can make ANSI art in a modern uh, terminal. And in fact, that's another feature that distinguishes DirDraw from other, from most other modern ANSI editors is that it runs in the terminal. It runs in a modern Unicode terminal, although if you have a code page 437 terminal, it can support that as well. Um, it also supports the mouse, so you may have noticed that I can click around with the mouse here. You know, um, all of these sort of green elements are clickable, so you have a little transport here. You can start and stop the animation. You know, you can uh, have menus here. You can click with the mouse. You have a color palette here, which brings me to another feature of DirDraw, which is 256 colors. Uh, you know, traditional ANSI art, uh, back in the day, uh, used 16 color, uh, a 16 color palette. So, uh, so that's pretty cool. You know, we have the full 256 colors here, uh, including the traditional 16 colors here. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty fun. So, uh, what can we do with DirDraw? Oh, it also does, um, not sure if I mentioned this, IRC color export. So if you, uh, want to make some MIRC art, you can do that in DirDraw. Um, yeah, it, it sort of, uh, has a few tricks up its sleeve, you know, compared to, uh, some of the traditional ANSI editors. Alright, so what's it like drawing in DirDraw? Well, these, uh, let's see. So, one big thing with the user interface is that it sort of uh, uses the escape key to access commands. So, if you want to get to the help screen, you hit escape, and you can see that little green asterisk down there to indicate that you're sort of in command mode, and then H. And here's a full list of commands. You know, you have the animation editing commands over here. You know, you can hit uh, Escape J and Escape K to go to the previous and next frames. Um, you can clone the current frame with Escape N. Uh, that's very useful. You know, you might spend some time drawing a piece of art and uh, you decide you want to start animating it. And, uh, yeah, you just clone it to the next frame and start editing it. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you how that works in a minute. 
um, you know, escape P, starts and stop playback. Uh, you can delete the frame. You can set a frame delay. So what that means is that when you're in the current frame, I'll show you. So right now, down here, um, frame, uh, we're in frame one of three. So the frame delay lets us uh, pause on a frame. So right now, frames per second is set to 11. So when we play, it's in theory going at 11 frames per second, although that may be a bit of an estimate. So um, if we want to set a frame delay, see we're on frame one, we can hit escape capital D and we'll set a frame delay to right so now when we play back it's going to pause on frame one for two seconds uh, which you know might not be useful for this particular piece of art but uh, it can be useful for some other pieces of art if that makes sense uh, and I'll show you something in a minute that does that so the current frame, de frame delay I'm gonna reset that back to zero here and uh, yeah, let me just kind of uh, show you another piece of art here. I'm just gonna changes have not been saved. Are you sure? I'm gonna load another file. Yes. Um, so the file format we're gonna hit D because we're loading a dir draw file. And I'm going to load. Let's see here. How about Doge Smirk Doctor? All right, so we have this lovely little doge here, and um, so I'll show you, let's see, we'll hit play, and you'll see it, <laughs> uh, it pauses for a second while her mouth, while her eyes are open, and uh, yeah, that's that frame delay feature I was talking about. And if we want to uh, edit this, so... I'm just going to hit escape J, go back to frame one, and we'll just do something really simple here. I'm just going to draw, well, let's see here. This is not, you know, I'm not going to take the time to draw like a really great piece of art here, but you can just kind of get the idea. So I drew a uh, D and I'm gonna switch to the next frame and you know <laughs> well, let's change the color why not let's make it like a pink you know now like I said this might not be the best piece of art but it is a demonstration of how this works let's uh... Make this one green. Oh, I'm not a great old school ASCII artist, but I'll do my best here. Huh. Oh, I'm not sure how this is going to work, but just imagine that this is a G. Let's see, what does a G look like? Yeah, not a great G. <laughs> uh, let's make this one uh, something like that. Draw a little ASCII art here. <laughs> not the best E, but that's okay. All right, now we're going to go back to this first frame. I'm just going to take away this delay here. Current frame delay, we're going to change that back to zero. And now you can see <laughs> our doge has a little very lame looking font. But you can see how we can do a little animation here. Pretty fun, pretty fun. Let's see what else we have. I'm going to load up another file. That's escape O. To load a file, change it up and save, yes. And we're going to load it. Uh, let's see here. 
All right, so this looks kind of interesting. This is a picture I drew of my friend. Whoops, that's not good. That didn't load right. Oh, right, because we are in 256 color mode. So, <laughs> um, one of the things that is kind of a problem with Dirt Draw right now is that in 256 color mode, it does not support background colors. And, uh... That's sort of an issue with end curses that uh, hopefully will be fixed sooner rather than later. But um, in 16 color mode, this picture would look a lot better because the background colors would be there. Uh, but you can see that it's using some uh, Unicode characters to do a bit of interesting shaping here. So I'm just going to load a different file here. What do we have? Uh, yeah, let's yeah, and again, you get this warning that loading 16 color ANSI in 256 color mode will lose background colors. You can pass a command line to DirDraw to switch between uh, 16 color mode and 256, 256 color mode. And uh, there are also, I'm not sure I mentioned this, but DirDraw supports custom themes. And uh, so all these colors down here in the user interface, these kind of blues and greens, are uh, set through a configuration file. And... Um, you, ha you can have, uh, there's different theme files, you know, so uh, the theme files can set themes for, different themes for 16 color mode and 256 color mode, and uh, if you want to find out more about that, you can check out the readme file for DirDraw. So here's another little piece that I've been kind of playing with, <laughs> dope hacks. And, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what else to show. I kind of showed some of the major features here. Um, you know, you have undo and redo, a lot of typical editing features. You know, you can hit Escape M to, you know, load your menu. Escape T loads your mouse tools. Escape C loads your color palette. Then you can use the keyboard to move it around. So the user interface is fully keyboard driven, but also uh, supports the mouse, you know, if you, if you want to use that. And I myself, you know, switch back and forth between the mouse and the keyboard all the time with DirDraw. Uh, so, you know, some of the mouse features are cool. You can, uh, uh, again, this is running in a Unicode terminal. It's a modern Unix terminal. Uh, there's no graphical user interface going on here, but it supports the mouse. So um, let's just kind of show you a little... Little kind of fun little things you can do. So let's eye drop. That means we're just going to pick up a color. Let's pick up this little purple here. And uh, yeah, you can color your ASCII art. Whoops. That didn't work. Try it again. I drop that. By the way, this program is, um, you know, it, it's in beta. <laughs> Not all of the features that I want have been implemented, and there are some bugs, but you can still use it to make art. Like everything that I'm showing you here has been made using DirDraw. So uh, let's just pick color here, and I'm just gonna gonna paint paint color of this stuff here. So this is actually kind of cool. You can um, load up a uh, load up a black and white, you know load up a monochrome ASCII art picture and uh, use DirDraw to color it with 256 colors. That's actually what I did with that doge uh, with that doge uh, that I showed you. Right, so there's some other fun stuff here. Um, load another file, yeah. D. Uh, now you may have seen this one before. Samples CMI Doctor. Yeah, this is a very uh, early piece that was drawn with DirDraw back in a very early version of DirDraw. Yep, so uh, that's DirDraw. I uh, hope you uh, hope you have fun with it. All right, thank you.